Welcome to this brief overview of the new iCAM Technologies Foundation Post Processor Development Tool. Using iCAM Foundation, let's quickly review the workflow to create ISO code. After creating machining operations, we can generate NC code interactively with a couple of button clicks. We can now review the post process G code file. We can also review the app source file. This is the output from Delmia and the input to the iCAM Foundation post processor. Both of these files are stored in our existing PPR context, which means they are always up to date. They can be exported on demand to file folders that are utilized for shop distributable numerical control. iCAM Technologies Foundation V24 is a post processor development tool. It is available for all Dell Niet NC programming apps. There are no hidden fees, and posts are free to distribute. iCAM Foundation can be accessed from within a Dell Nia programming app. Support includes two axis wire EDM, plasma, laser, punch press, and water jet machines. Two axis lathes with a single spindle and a single turret. Three axis milling machines, including support for 3 plus 2 prepositioning. Mill turn machines with a single spindle and single turret that has live tooling stations. The spindle fourth axis is prepositioning only. Let's turn our attention to the iCAM Foundation Post Processor Development Tool. It can be found on the Analysis and Output tab within any Delmia NC programming application. Foundation Quest is one of two modules that complete the developer's environment. Quest utilizes a simple database structure to store and develop post processors. It is common to have a database named for each customer, containing their versions of different post processors. Let's review the Mach 4 post processor developed for our maker community. We begin by accessing and answering the questionnaires in Quest. Beginning with general information, let's take a moment to sample a few of the questionnaires. Let's take a look at tool change. How about rapid positioning? And finally, let's take a look at drill cycles. There is no doubt that questionnaires can greatly reduce the time it takes to generate a custom post processor. However, there are times when we may wish to include customization. Optional post processor words enables the NC programmer to create a PP instruction commanding the post processor to perform a particular task. The machine towel major word allows the NC programmer to control the output of G61 and to cancel it with a G64 when desired. A user defined syntax macro now allows me to catch the machine towel major word, and based on the syntax of the PP table, I can filter on the minor words coarse and fine, outputting the correct G code. The startup and shutdown procedures allow the developer to customize machining events. A few examples include the machine startup, machine shutdown, and tool change startup. The first tool change startup event has a custom macro that outputs a tooling list for the entire program. The iChem macro language allows users to manipulate the app source records from an input command in order to alter the sequence of records being processed. Macros can construct new records for processing or modify and suppress existing records. In this example, a tooling list was created by looking ahead and capturing all relevant tooling information. Rapid macro development allows predefined macros to be utilized with startup and shutdown procedures. Simply select and add the desired macros in the desired order. From within Quest, 
we can launch the complementary development tool named Jenner. Jenner can generate or compile a post processor within one of our existing libraries. Jenner utilizes the app source or CL file created by Delmia to visually debug our Mach 4 post processor. By single clicking in the output window, we can process a single CL record at a time. As we process each record, the app statement appears within the input window and the corresponding G code is displayed in the output window. Our macro logic is traced in the macro window during the execution of each CL record, giving us a firm understanding of the relationship between our input, our macros, and our output. We can use the synchronize command to further trace and understand our logic flow. There are many advanced debugging features within Jenner, allowing developers to pinpoint and resolve any logic conflicts within their post processors. Debugging has never been so quick and easy. We can also generate our post processor from within Quest if so desired. Exporting our finished post processor to the iCAM Foundation work directory ensures our makers can now create G code from within Delmia NC programming applications that is compatible with the Mach 4 machine controller.